how to make smooth keyframes inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm inside the edit tab in DaVinci Resolve and the first method of making a smooth keyframes is in the edit tab. So once you're having a media or a background for example, I'm gonna use this one. So you can first highlight it and then you can implement the keyframes. It doesn't matter which keyframes you're using. So for this video example, I'm gonna use a basic zooms. So I'm highlighting the video and I'm going into the inspector and I'm gonna add the zoom keyframes. So I'm creating the first point here with the default values and moving forward in the timeline, I'm increasing the values to about 2.2. You can preview now these two keyframes that we have just created from here. These two dots represent the keyframes that we're having. So now we can enable the spline tab and you can do it from the icon, which is next to the other one, which is this one. For this case, you will need to expand this window by dropping the corners of the screen looking like this. And now in here, you can also see your both keyframes. If you want to add some easing, you can highlight one of them like this. It will become red and you can click this icon right here. And that way a tail will appear and you can grab that end of the tail and you can move it so you can have a curved line in between those two keyframes. So now I curved it a little bit. That means it's gonna ease into zooming in more gradually so that way it's moving faster in the beginning and slowly at the end and now when i bend it the other way it's gonna go slowly in and faster at the end of the keyframe as you can see i'm gonna preview and go move it slowly and now it's faster at the end this is the first way on how you can smooth out keyframes and this is the method in the edit tab by expanding this window right here now we're gonna make some basic keyframes in the fusion tab which is not so much complicated than this one in here i'm gonna reset everything from here and now while this is selected i'm going to the fusion tab right here so now i'm in fusion tab i'm having media in and out and i'm adding a text in between them which is creating a merge node i'm leaving some random text on the text field and in order to add the keyframes on here on the position of the text we're gonna add a transform which is attached to the text so i'm going to the transform icon which is right here and while text is highlighted you can select the transform icon or you can grab it in between the text and the merge one now transform one is highlighted and we can add the keyframes for the second example, I'm also gonna use just two keyframes, not making it any complicated. So first of all, I'm moving the text outside of vision on the viewer screen, and then I'm creating a keyframe next to center XY. Next up, I'm moving forward in the timeline, and I'm leaving it somewhere around the center of our preview viewer. So now we're having two basic keyframes, and basically the text will appear inside of the center of our screen. Then select the spline tab and then select transform one and also click on here so you can have a few view of the both keyframes that you're having and then select this icon right here which is going to select both of them inside of here you can also pull off the end of that keyframes and making them more gradual or also you can right click go to ease and select one of the presets in there this for example is in and out cubic and let's see how it goes very nice looking zero to no effort let's try another preset just right click go to ease and select this time outback cubic let's see how it looks this one is going to go faster in the beginning and slowly at the end let's see also it's kind of bouncy at the end and there's also other stuff in here which you can access by right clicking as i said going to ease and you can try one of these presets in here and this is nothing fancy, this is just how you can add a smooth keyframes in the edit and in the fusion tab. And you can do this with multiple keyframes and it doesn't matter, it is zooming in, sliding in, making your keyframes and visuals a little bit better. I hope it was helpful, you can also watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you will like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.